Hello. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about writing a research proposal. How do we write? How one can write a research proposal? Is writing a research proposal a difficult task? It is not at all. It's not difficult at all. So we need to understand what is the process. How do we write? How can we write a research proposal? When we are interested to apply for a research grant to a certain agency, we need to write research proposal. The research proposal is written is written for research grant and some sort of research proposal which we call as synopsis or summary of the research. We write for PhD program also. Here we are talking about research proposal for research grant. We want a grant to conduct to carry out a research on suitable topic in certain area in certain discipline of science and engineering, science engineering or technology, whichever is the area of research. So before we want to know, we want to learn how to write a research proposal, we need to understand that what are the components of a research proposal. What are the components? The first component I tell you is the most important component that is origin of the research proposal. In most of the research proposal formats, you will see that it begins with origin. It asks you to write how did it originate in your mind. How did it, how this idea came into your mind, came in your mind about the idea, the topic, the, the, the topic of the research proposal which you are going to write. That is what is called as the origin of the proposal. And writing origin is the most important task in writing, while writing the research proposal. And sometimes in many of the uh, research uh, agencies which provide, which support research grant, they give certain words limit also. You have to write origin of the research proposal in 50 words, in 60 words. Then it becomes very difficult because the entire idea, the thing which originated in your mind, which is the background of this research, which is which is behind the idea behind the research proposal, you have to express in certain number of words and therefore this is the most important task. Then you have to choose suitable number of words. Whatever you want to do, you have to, you have to write that how did it came into your mind? How did you get the idea from where it was originated? And what is the background? What is the historical background that you think that which is relevant to your research proposal that needs to be written under origin? And grammatically, the sentences should be correct, sentences should be precise, so that the entire information which you want to express, which you want to write, should come in those number of words only. So this is the first part of writing a research proposal. Let us go to second part. Second part is normally as we write research paper. In research paper also there is an there, there is a uh, another section which we call as introduction. So in research proposal also there is an introduction section. An introduction is a general purpose theory, general theoretical background of the research proposal. Suppose we are interested to write something which is using deep learning, deep learning based study, deep learning based certain application. Maybe that application is remote sensing application. So we have to give here the general theoretical background of what is that application all about and what is the deep learning all about and how deep learning is useful, how deep learning uh, can be used in order to solve, in order to in order to solve the problems which are existing in remote sensing application. This is just example which I am giving. Otherwise, introduction is nothing but a general purpose theory, general purpose theoretical background about the research proposal. Third one is the research review. Research review, which we call as, which we call as literature review also. Research review. And normally, when you want to, when, when you are asked to write research review, in most of the research proposal pro forma, you will find that this we are required to write both at national and international level. International level. You have to express, you have to write how much work, how much similar work in that topic which you have chosen, how much similar work has been carried out at national level and international level. Again, sometimes there are some page limits, 
you have to write this literature review in four pages, three, four pages, one page for national and two pages for international. That is generally uh, suggested in the research uh, proposal format. So this is, I tell you, which is another important uh, uh, component of research proposal because this gives us the mirror. This gives us the, the exact status of the work, where the work stands, where what exactly is the status of this current research work which is going on, which is being carried out by different researchers at uh, global or national or local level. So therefore this is very important. So how to write this research review? As we normally write our research review or literature review in the research paper, there we can write uh, the, the literature review into detail also. In, in, in a particular paper can be explained in detail. Here you have to choose appropriate number of papers. May not be 40 papers, 30 papers. You may study hundreds of papers, but you have to explain here about those important papers which are very much relevant to the research theme, the research topic with which you are you have you have originated this particular research proposal while writing the research proposal. And therefore, what that national level and international level has been done, you have to explain, you have to describe in uh, selected number of pages, in, in suggested number of pages in a, in a, in a way so that uh, the, the person who goes through the research proposal while evaluating can understand easily, yes, that these are the methods, these are the techniques which have been used and this is the current status of the research work and the problem identification has been done very nicely uh, in, in this particular stage because this gives us always the stage where we come to know that this much work has been done and in the current research work this has not been attempted this the current researchers existing researchers could not have could not have uh, could not do, could not do that it could have been done but they could not do so that particular thing that particular impasses that particular impasses are stress stress needs to be given so that one can identify that yeah this is the problem which could be carried out by this current piece of research work. After this, again like research paper, we have to write your proposed method. What is your proposed method? What method you are proposing in order to uh, uh, carry out this research proposal? So method again is to be uh, very uh, particularly written. Particularly means there may be different methods available in order to solve the problem which you are identifying based on the literature review. But what 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 novel method you are going to propose, or is there is there any existing method which you are going to implement? What change you are going to adopt? What 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 is the modification which you are going to incorporate? Which you are proposing to incorporate in that method that you have to clearly write that these methods were already tested. And in those methods, the results were like that. And but but there are some problems in the existing results and method. So this is the area where we can plan to modify and we can we can uh, get the better result. That you have to mention in the method. Then the after after this method, there are many other uh, sub components also. Like uh, you have you have to explain that is there any risk associated? Is there any environmental risk associated? These type of questions, these type of sub-components are also mentioned in most of the pro pharma. Is there any risk associated? What is the, uh, the amount of data? What is the sample size? All these things are also uh, required and which are generally the part, part of method. What is the sample size? What will be your sample size for the study? That also needs to be, that can also be written with the method. And after this, which is another uh, important stage and another important component of uh, research proposal is budget. Budget. And budget, as far as the budget is concerned, it depends that how many months you are proposing to complete this research work. It may be 36 months or 24 months. So if it is 36 months, it means 3 years. So every year, what are the uh, instruments, what are the equipments, what are different other uh, things which will be required in order to carry out the proposed research work 
that you have to clearly mention and if possible you can get online or offline uh, approximate quotations for all those items which you are which you which you think that those items will be required in your proposed research work so budget particularly which year which item you require if you want to conduct seminar or conference which year you want to conduct if you want some study or visits that you want in second year third year or between 10th month to 12th month that is called as uh, the 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 uh, uh, the uh, time bar uh, description uh, which we call, which we call as uh, the the detailed planning detailed planning that uh, month to month planning what will be the planning and accordingly you have to prepare the budget and in budget uh, the items which you include those items may be recurring and non recurring if the items are recurring or if the items are non recurring the justification of budget whatever budget you propose it needs to be properly justified every item each item of the budget needs to be justified properly that why do you want to uh, organize a seminar why do you want to have the study why do you want to have three times survey uh, in the complete uh, cycle of the research proposal why do you want to have such equipments all justifications are uh, to be written just after the budget and after writing budget whatever uh, whatever research review literature review you have carried out that of course requires the bibliography here which you uh, which we call as references so the bibliography may be the part of this uh, section number 3 or at the end also we can write the bibliography sometimes in uh, many of the research proposals they ask that who are the stakeholders who are the persons who, who who may take interest in your research proposal who are the agencies what are the agencies what are the institutes or organizations who are the scientists and researchers who may take interest in the research proposal that also you may need to write that also you have to write another thing is sometimes they ask for the 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 suggested list of reviewers which you think that these are the this is the list of reviewers and experts who can review this uh, research proposal that also they 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 ask for in the project uh, proposal format so this is uh, 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 a list of uh, uh, all popular all important components of research proposal if we talk about uh, all the components of a research proposal this generally includes origin introduction research review methodology budget and after that two important components two other components uh, sometimes uh, one of the component is asked in the beginning and the last component is asked in the last and that that particular component is objective and outcome objectives and outcome objectives and outcomes that what are the objectives what do you plan to do and that those objectives should be focused objective clear cut objectives that i want to implement this i want to design this device i want to design this new method maybe two or three objectives but those objectives must be clear cut objectives and focused objectives which generally need to be written in the beginning and outcomes are uh, the anticipated outcomes what you are expecting what what product you are going to uh, you are expecting out of this research proposal what software what simulation software what solution to the society for the benefit of mankind or benefit of the environment or benefit of other 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 stakeholders what do you propose what do you think that that how this research proposal is going to benefit the society that is about the outcomes this outcome may not uh, directly uh, give the right benefit to the society but it can also give the recommendation to the government recommendation to the different agencies that if this project is implemented at large scale or uh, or, or in in this recommendation is implemented in some sort of other government schemes or proposals or or, or projects then this is how society is going to get benefited that kind of recommendation or direct beneficial uh, the statements could be written inside the outcomes of research proposals so in this uh, lecture let me summarize that we talked about writing a research proposal generally we think that writing a research proposal is a very difficult task 
writing a research proposal writing is not difficult task at all you need to understand what are the components and you have to have certain certain thing in your mind certain idea in your mind what do you want to do why you want to do how you want to do and what others have done in this particular topic what others have not attempted in 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 this area that you could uh, contribute by your own that is what you do actually in a research proposal so this is all about research proposal i hope that this is going to be this is going to help the researchers the scientists the innovators who are in the process of writing research proposals to different agencies to get the grant for the research work to 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 get it done thank you